Hello, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. Today we'll be taking a look at how to install Forge on your Minecraft server. We've gone ahead and logged into the panel, and the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the FTP file access. From here, we're going to want to enter our details into an FTP client such as FileZilla or WinSCP. I've FTP'd into the server, and as you can see, I have three different files. I don't need any of these files, so I'll go ahead and just highlight them and then delete them. Once the files have been deleted, I'm going to download the version of Forge that I'm wanting. So for this tutorial, I'll be using Forge 1.12.2, and I'm simply going to uh, download the Windows installer and save it to my desktop. Okay, so I've got the Forge installer, and I'm going to double click it and then click run and it's going to prompt me with three different options so install client install server and extract we're going to want to click the install server option and then click where it's going to save this to so i'm going to click the three dots and then click desktop and i'm actually going to create a new folder i recommend naming this folder to the version of forge you'll be installing so in my case it is 1.12.2 forge I'm going to then open the folder and click OK to install the server. Keep in mind this may take some time depending on the speed of your internet. OK, so the files have now been downloaded and as you can see we have the uh, message confirming so. I'll go ahead and click OK and then open up the folder that we previously selected. As you can see we have three different files here, the Minecraft vanilla jar file, the forge jar file, as well as the libraries folder. Let's go ahead and kind of push this off to the side and bring up FileZilla so we can then drag all three of these files to our server. Okay, so all three of those files have now been uploaded and I've gone back to the panel and what I'm going to do is click the Minecraft server jar file and the easiest way to go about this is simply clicking rename and then copy the name that is given there. So we're copying this entire name. I'm going to erase what's currently in the jar file selector and paste in what I previously copied. So we have the Minecraft server 1.12.2 jar. I'm then going to click save. Once this has been saved, I'm going to go ahead and start my server. This is going to load up all of the required files for the vanilla Minecraft jar file. As you can see, the server is now marked as done and online on the panel. So from here, we'll go ahead and click stop and then refresh all of the files in FileZilla. Because we ran the Minecraft vanilla jar file, it's generated all of the vanilla server files. We're going to repeat the exact same process with the Forge jar file. So I'm going to click rename on the jar file and then copy the uh, entire jar file name and pasting that into the jar file selector. Once this has been pasted, I'll go ahead and click save once more. And once that's been saved, I'm going to click start. Okay, so now the server is once more marked as done and online in the server console, I'm going to refresh to see that some additional files have been created. One additional file that's been created is the mods folder. So this is the place where you'll install all of the mods you want for this specific version of Forge. I've gone ahead and downloaded a mod that I want to install to my server. I'm simply going to install this by dragging and dropping the jar file to the mods folder. Now in order to complete the mod installation, I'm going to want to go back to my server list and delete the world. I've deleted the world folder because the mod that I'm adding in may have some world modifications in it that will otherwise not be loaded in until a new world is generated. Now that I've installed that mod and deleted the world folder, I'm going to restart my server. My server has once more been marked as done and online in the panel, and the world folder has been regenerated as well as a new configuration file for the mod that I've installed. So in this case, it's Extra Utilities 2. That's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding anything we've covered in this video, feel free to join the Pebblos Discord and we'd be more than happy to help you there.